Hi, this is Thundee from modernwork.com and welcome to our hands-on of the Galaxy Nexus on Verizon. You can see we're going through the apps here and this is the app tray. You can go from apps to widgets, very similar to what you have in Android 3.0 for tablets. But uh, as you know, Android 4.0 is a combination of uh, 3.0 and 2.3. You can see there, you can uh, pick and select uh, different types of widgets uh, for, you know, for your applications. And scrolling through is very smooth and you can see it's all in landscape mode. So let's check out the uh, the phone dialer. Dialer simple plane. Of course you see uh, you can search. You can also look at the top there for your contacts which you can slide through. That's your home, back and your multitask button. Um, and of course here you can uh, go through your different apps that run at the same time. Kill apps and in this case we're going to check out the uh, camera. So looking at the camera here, the new camera app has a blue uh, camera button. You can toggle between camera as well as your video recorder to have your um, zoom there on the screen. We're going to take a few pictures of that Samsung logo that's out of focus there, but we'll take a few pictures and we'll show you more about the camera app um, and uh, a couple more. In this video, we had to do a voiceover because the original volume was just pretty much sucked. Anyway, you can see, of course, your share options, and as you scroll through to the left, uh, you can actually go through all your pictures in a slide you know, kind of mode. And here we're going to do a comparison with the Galaxy S2 or the Epic 4G Touch in this case. Uh, side by side comparison, you can see, of course, your Nexus on the left and the Epic 4G Touch on the right, which, of course, has no physical buttons in front, which is the Galaxy Nexus. Um, even the, the the buttons you see on screen, they are actually on screen buttons. They are not touch sensitive buttons. So we're going to stack them side by side. Take a look. You can see the Galaxy Nexus has a curved shape. It's the uh, phone on the left, the gray phone on the left. Uh, you do have your volume rockers on the left hand side of the phone. You can see it's not actually a straight device. It's actually curved. It has a contoured uh, screen. Those are dock pins, which we'll talk about in a second. Uh, let's drop that and pick up the uh, Galaxy Nexus. So you can see there's nothing on the top there. Just gotta focus a little bit better. Uh, you can see on the right there, volume toggles. I mean, left volume toggles. Uh, on you can see on the top of the screen, you see the Google search. That's permanent on your screen. On the bottom, you have a 3.5 your 3.5 mm jack, and of course you do have the dock and the power button, which you can probably slide dock with a laptop dock eventually um, on there. So. Um, like I said, uh, the Google search is permanently on screen, so that's why there is no search button. And again, those those buttons on top on your screen there, your back home and your multitask are actually on screen buttons and not touch sensitive buttons. Now the notification bars, you can see the difference there as we pull down both of them. Uh, it's more fluid again on the Galaxy Nexus, and also it's it's it now tiled differently. It's got a black color feel to it and it's just much smoother and fa faster. Now the Galaxy S2 is a fast device, it's smooth, uh, but I can tell you very much that the um, the Galaxy Nexus is much faster, much smoother. Uh, you probably won't be able to see much of that difference in the video, but you can see how zippy it is just moving from screen to screen uh, uh, compared to the Galaxy uh, S2 Epic 4G Touch on the right. But the uh, Galaxy Nexus is fast, it's smooth. You can see the dock below where you have on the Galaxy Nexus where you can actually dock your, you know, like a camera and different applications there. You can, of course, you know, change them out whichever way you want. So, um, yeah, it, it's a very fast, very, very smooth device. So let's go ahead and check out uh, Speed Test. Now, it's a Verizon device, it's uh, 4G capable, and we are in New York City. We're testing this at the Samsung Experience Center. So let's see how fast it is. Uh, you can see that it's. it's Getting close to 14, um, but you know this is a 4G LTE device, so of course it's got 4G LTE speeds. Um, we, we can tell you it hit about 13.5, uh, I believe. Uh, I'll just zoom in there and check closely for you. So on uh, download, it's about 13.5 megabits per second, and uploads it's 8.6. So very fast. So anyway, if you guys have any questions or comments, let us know. And thank you very much.